Hey there, welcome back. In this section of the course, we are going to dive a bit more into the Internet Movie Database Scraper, the one that we previously created in the first part of the course. We are going to make it a bit more complex and we will learn new things as we go. In this quick lecture, I am going to show you how you can spoof or fake the user headers with the request method. Why do we need to spoof them? because you want to look like the scraper is a browser that it's actually doing the request. So, request headers are basically extra parameters that are sent to the server automatically by the browser. They usually contain cookie information if you're logged in, if you're not logged in, and other browser information. Okay. Enough talking for now. Let me actually show you how you can check these. First, let's go into the browser right click and go to the developer tools right now we need to go to the network tab so that we can see all the requests that are happening within this tab all right we can see a bunch of requests here there are types this one the document is the original one the other ones are just as you can see images gifs and uh, style sheets javascript and stuff like this okay Let's actually check the first request that is happening. This one. What we are looking for here is actually the request headers. We can see the general information, the response headers, but we actually need to see the request headers, which are a bit below. What we need to do now is go to the request promise page on GitHub and check their documentation to see how we can add those to our request. I already have it opened right here in this tab and I'm going to leave the link in the lecture resources so that you can access it easily too. And what we need to search for is how we can add those extra parameters when we actually do the request. And if we look a bit closely, it is right in front of our eyes. The headers option is right here. And what we are going to actually do is copy this part and go to our VS Code editor. Right now we only have the URL as a parameter and we need to change this so it is an actual object. Let's do this right now. Remove the URL and create an object. But we still need to input the URL. URI, URL and then we are going to paste in the headers option. All right, now we have exactly what we had before with an extra parameter to the request named user agent with the value of request promise. Of course, request promise is not an actual user agent, but this is from their documentation. We can easily change this out. With this being said, let's actually go and get the request headers. Let's go to the DevTools again, go to the first request, make sure it is the actual request responsible for that Internet Movie Database page and it is not an uh, image or a JavaScript file. Let's go below. Like we did before, we can see the request header and we are just going to copy everything for now. Copy and go back to the editor. Let's paste them in a new file. Command N or Control N to open a new file. Paste them here and we can check this out. Okay, what we have right now is the request headers that are being sent by the browser when we actually enter the Internet Movie Database page. What we need to do now is make them, all of them, as JavaScript objects and pass them instead of these. Okay, let's do this. Okay, I just formatted them properly and now we can copy them, go right here and replace them with this. Indent them properly. Right now, all the requests that are being sent by the browser are being sent by us also. We only need to take care of the cookie part because we don't need that in this case. Let's remove it and then we are finished. Right now we have the user agent, 
which is Mozilla in a Macintosh and this will be related to your specific computer that you're using to code this. You can easily change this on the user agent and check fake ones in the internet and paste them right here. You don't need to paste in your actual browser. What there is left to do is only testing. We need to check if this actually still works. Let's go to the debug tab and hit play. Let's hope for the best. Let's go to the debug console. And unfortunately, as you can see, it does not work. It does not output the title and the rating of the movie. Why is that? I don't know. We need to find this out. We are actually going to make use of what we learned before and we are going to set a debugger right at this line to see what is happening. Let's run it again and it stops right at this line and we can check what variables we have. We have the rating which is an empty string, the title empty string. This means that it didn't find the selectors that we were looking for. Why is that? Clearly the response changed. It is actual gibberish right now. I know the reason of this, but let me explain it. First, when we did the request with just the URL, all of the other options were default. Right now that we input our own options, some of the default parameters for the request function are left out and we get this response because we miss something. I am not going to tell you right now what we miss and we are going to check it in the following lecture. So like a movie, I left you with a bit of drama and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.